In this tutorial I'm going to take you through how to draw an ivy leaf step by step. The same basic steps can be followed if you're drawing another leaf, but this leaf is particularly nice to draw because of the five pointed shape. The first step is to think about the width and height of the leaf, so how wide and tall it is. You might want to measure it with a ruler or just lay it on the paper and make marks for the width and height. I've drawn a box here that's the width and height of my leaf so I can work inside it. If you feel more confident you could just make some guidelines on the paper. Once you've done this, draw in your main stem, the petiole. Again you could measure this with a ruler or just draw it by eye. Step 2 is to sketch in the midrib which is the biggest vein or set of veins on the leaf and this ivy leaf has five midribs going out from the top of the stem. When you look at the leaf you'll actually notice that these are not straight lines, they're lots of little sections all joined up. Also, notice that the lowest two in this leaf are shorter and don't go right to the edge of the box that I've drawn. Step three is to make the midribs a bit wider now that you've sketched them in. You may need to rub them out and tidy them at this stage. Notice that they're widest where they come from the stem and they get narrower as they go out towards the edge of the leaf. In step 4 I've marked the edges or corners of my leaf. For this ivy leaf I found it really helped when I had to draw in the outline in the next step, but if you find this too difficult then just look at step 5. Step 5. Now draw in the edge of the leaf, copying the shape carefully. If you did step 4 you can basically join up the corners that you marked. For this leaf it has a smooth edge or leaf margin, so you can try to copy the curves. So now we have the main structure of our leaf, the stem or petiole, the main veins called the midribs and the edge of the leaf called the leaf margin. Step 6. Now we have the outline of our leaf, we can start to draw in our lateral veins. These are the smaller veins that come off the midrib or main veins. These have also got some width to them, so you can use two lines close together to show this. Don't take them right to the edge yet, as we're going to add the detail of how they meet the edge of the leaf later. Step 7. This is a challenge task as it's very detailed work but you've nearly finished drawing the leaf now. If you can you're going to add the tertiary veins, these are the tiny veins that come off those lateral veins that you drew in the last step. The most important thing that you can do is to look at the way that they link up. On this leaf they split off to meet the edge of the leaf making sort of Y shapes. I would say that you should work on one section at a time working across the leaf, adding the veins using very thin, light lines as they're harder to see on the leaf. Well done, you should now have an accurate drawing of your whole leaf with all of its botanical detail. Now you could rub out the square very carefully, and if you want to add more definition, add some dark lines to show shadow, as I've done on one side of the stem, and then on the opposite side of the midribs to show some depth, and also on some of the outline to show shadow.